Hey guys, it's Henry. And it's Jacob. And today we're going to be telling you guys about the near future of our collections and of the Lego room. <laughs> so as you guys might know, the Christmas season is coming up. And this means... Um, Not so only that we have the Christmas season, that also means we have the Christmas season for Lego. Yeah, so, so this is a pretty big deal to me and Henry because Christmas season is a very big season for Lego. And um, as you can see, we have quite the collection going here. Yeah, and so uh, we are gonna buy, be buying lots of sets in the near future. So first I'm gonna talk about my plans for what I'm buying and then Henry's gonna talk about his and we're gonna take a look online and see the promos that we're gonna be getting when we buy those. So that's what to expect for this video. So first, I am going to be buying, I'm, we're gonna be going to the Lego store the Saturday after Black Friday, and I'm gonna be buying the Home Alone house. So and that, I'm, for reference, that's- uh, 300, and it's gonna go- That's the um, 26th of- If I just come over here- November. It's gonna, it's gonna be showing, uh, it's gonna be going right here. So right like between- The White House and this, just for now, until, I'm not sure if I've talked to you guys about this, but the new city that is coming, where I'm gonna have a bunch of tables going all around that back, and then a bunch of shelves lying there so I can have an actual so, yeah. city with like train lines and it's not just like all cluttered. But for now, the Home Alone house is gonna be thrown there. And then, on January 1st, we plan to go to the Lego store and I'm gonna get the new, whatever the new modular is, depending on if it's good or not. Yeah. And, either for Christmas or at the, for my birthday, which is very near to Christmas, probably end of, end of January, I will be getting the Eiffel Tower set. And for now, that's just gonna have to go right in the middle there. I do understand that it's like, four. Right in this I don't even know if that's gonna fit because it's, it's like not, four it's base not. plates. So it might just have to get its own table and like, it might for now, but Maybe eventually once the new city happens, it'll get a spot. But that is my plans for the near future. Now, Henry, you talk to them about what you're doing with your collection in the near future. So my collection is a lot different from Jacob's. It's a lot smaller since I don't have a job, but I'm gonna be planning to get that once I get older. And then I am planning on buying the bookstore on uh, on the day we are going. I believe that's November 26th on Saturday. So yeah, what I'll be doing then is I'll be buying the bookstore to go along with my two other modulars that I have been uh, that I've bought. Those are the Sanctum and the Police Station, both great sets. And after that, I'll be planning to buy the Boutique Hotel or the January modular. Yeah, so unfortunately, I had to cancel the Winter Village because there's so many great sets coming out and I really can't be wasting $800 or whatever it would have cost to me on sets that are during most of the year just gonna be living under tables and until they get brought up for the Christmas season. So maybe when I, once I have more money and if this channel really does take off, once I have more money and more resources and a bigger like space. Because as you can see, I have a very small space. I have my little like piece, I have my drawer pieces over here and then I have my um, collection. So for now, I'm kind of using this as a storage room, but I also want it to look presentable. So I am going to be putting in a lot of new tables and making it look really good. So let's get on to the second portion of the video. And look at the promos that we're going to get when buying these items. I have the promos that me and Henry are going to be getting. So I'll go first. I am going to be first. getting the winter. We're both going to be getting the winter elves scene. I think that this looks really good. It looks great. I mean, just look at all those details there. We've got like that icy river and that squirrel at the bottom there. Yeah, it's really nice looking and it's going to help a lot of people get into that Christmas spirit. I love the two elf minifigures and those will go really nice. This will go really nice. I can make like a little display, a mini winter village there. Yeah. And on the next page, we have the box. I love how they all say limited edition. I really do love this promo, and I, I'm, I'm almost positive it'll be on stock when we go. But I will. Yeah, but uh, I'm really praying that it is, because there's always that chance it sells out for Black Friday. You never know. But yeah. it's it's really cool, and if it's not, I'm not going to be... I'm, I'll probably buy it off eBay, because it looks really nice. 
And now on to the next promo that me and he- that I will be getting. Yeah, so this looks like some sort of like... Oh, wow, that's more than I thought. Is that... Do you get all of that? I'm not sure. No, you don't. It's valued at 30 bucks. So you see. don't get all of How many pieces? It comes with 583 pieces. I think you do get all of them. That's crazy. There's no... I mean, there's no way that the wooden duck is 583 no, pieces. No, but with all those, that's definitely Maybe you more build than... like three or something. Yeah, it, it's probably 500. Because each is... Pro- there's five, and I'm sure each takes 100 pieces uh, it's a really it's almost 600 pieces so I, I actually think you can build all of those yeah maybe but they all look great it wouldn't come with all those tiles if you couldn't build them all but that looks really good for a promo and I didn't realize it wasn't just a wooden duck and that it come so all these are gonna be a, maybe a little bit miscellaneous yeah but, a little bit random but it's like really cool to have and if i need to i can part them out but i'll find i'll be able to find a space for them even if it's on like that shelf i have in my room or something it's nice to have you can see there's like a tree house there at the bottom left. i like that box yeah Home it's of the house brick. of that's house of the brick yeah that's if that was an a that'd be a house in german yeah i like that yeah, so then we've got the duck, the little machine there, and then that's the, like a brick molding machine. The dinosaurs, the Lego house, and then the um, the treehouse. Yeah, so overall, really cool promo. The next promo we have here is an in-store only. Let's see if we can get a view on there. Uh, does um, it even show it? I'm not sure, but it's we can see it here. Um, it's like just a little Santa. I think it looks good, and we it's will underrated. both be. We'll both be getting this, and it's an in-store only, so that'll be nice to have. And now we get a little bit of a look. You get a we Lego. We won't be getting this. You, yeah, it's just only Cyber Monday for some reason. But I, I think I probably use that as like a lunchbox or something. <laughs> lunchbox, yeah. Yeah, I think it looks really cool, and I would. I, I'm sad that I am not going to be getting that, but. Yeah, so overall, those are all the promos. Plus, if you get the Eiffel Tower, you will get Eiffel's apartment. Looks great. Yeah, that's a really nice I don't nice know build. why they put price tags on these, because these are... Well, it's kind of just telling you what it's worth. Like, this would be a $20 set. I don't think that'd be a $20 set. Yeah, what? 228 pieces. All the pieces are fairly large. I think it would be valued Maybe. at 20 Because it's like a nice build. Um, but I think I'd buy this for 20 bucks if it was a set, but yeah. I wish I could buy the Eiffel Tower on release day and buy this. I'm sure you can make a mod and fit this into the Eiffel Tower somehow. Yeah, with, with how hard. I'm, I'm sure you could. I see, like, the middle part, it's open. I You could just plop it in there and call it an apartment, honestly. Or you could, like, somehow maybe you could just pretend it's in there. I don't know. I think it would be really nice to have... Yeah. I, I like these little dioramas that they do, like, um, Lars Family Kitchen. I think that, that looks good. Yeah, they I look want, great. I want that Aunt Beru figure, but she's, like, 40 bucks. Yeah. All the promos like this are really cool. Yeah. So, that is, um, me and Henry's plans for the, for the next few months, probably till the end of January, is what we just talked about. You can see the, the little Eiffel Yeah, I like that. You can, it's like... pretty cool. They have it lined up perfectly. Wow. I wish that that, that would look so good if it was in tan, that, uh, but it looks good in gray, too. Yeah, I it mean. looks good. I think they did a good job with it. Yeah. Yeah, so, thank you guys so much for watching, and make sure to come back next time.